What's going on lads, what's the crack? Welcome back to the channel. We are going to be taking a look at what's coming Monday. Apologies about my throat, it's quite sore. The daily game, a lot of people have been asking me about this, especially newcomers. This will probably and potentially not be updated until eFootball 2025. Now I would say that there is still some nice stuff in here if you're starting off. You can get the free Neymar and on lap 11 all the way down to lap 38 plus that is probably going to be extended out. I would say there's some good players in here as well. Obviously, if you're looking at endgame meta type players, Costa Corta, Wilshire uh, are definitely there. Maradona, maybe, if you don't have the other big time, you know, most recent Maradona. But they probably won't add that or revamp that until eFootball 25. Same with the objectives here. Oh, excuse me. The same with the objectives. Uh, these are going to be ongoing, I would say, until eFootball 2025. They're not going to make massive changes to how they release inf or release content at the moment. Um, I don't think that it's going to be something we see until eFootball 25, being honest with you. It's going to be on Monday, as usual, about the cards and about new cards. We have this national midfielders, Pirlo, Maradona and Xabi Alonso. One of the best packs they've released in recent times, I would say. Um, they have a new pack coming, we'll get to that in a second. But I would definitely think that they're going to add one or two more packs here. They've started to add two packs at a time. They still have the European and worldwide stuff going on. You've got the free French and free Argentinian pack which you'll be able to work through if you're staying free to play, or if you're just saving up a couple of coins, you will get the last spin of the French pack. You already should have it by now, by the time this video is up, if you're completing the objectives and you're playing a bit, and the Argentina pack will come in due time as well as new objectives are added. So that's going to be, pretend, be there on Monday as well. As with normal, uh, the events are going to be recycled as well and refreshed. Again, we keep saying it, we're going to be going back to what we already know. Now, these are the players that are coming in the selection here. And these are also going to be a French League One selection. So you can see here a couple of players. There isn't going to be anything there that really kind of stands out. It's going to be more about the Showtime, actual featured Showtime cards, um, which we'll get to in just two seconds. And I do feel like Lacazette is, is always kind of a card that gets skimmed over. And he's got, he's, he's got really good player ID. He plays really well. But it's going to be all about these new Showtime cards. And these this potentially could be one of the best packs that they have released. And we're going to get a bit of a higher res here with the new Showtime model of the new card. Mbappe, Donnarumma and Sakaria. Uh, thanks to whoever sent me these on, on Discord. Um, you know, I appreciate it. Mbappe potentially probably going to level 100. We've got Donnarumma at 98 and Zakaria. Now, this is a bit interesting for me because I don't know why they're bringing out domestic league, especially with Mbappe. Maybe they had this card planned, and obviously with Mbappe's move, they're just going to say, yeah, this is going to be a very popular card. It'll be your last chance to ever get Mbappe, especially with the PSG here. So it's going to be an interesting card pack. This is some of the stats at level one. Obviously, this is not maxed out, um, but this is going to be the stats at level one. You've got dribbling 82, finishing 81, speed 84, acceleration 85, reflexes and reach is all you really need for Donnarumma as well as the, uh, goalkeeper awareness and then it's a carrier could be the surprise pick of the pack here he is so good he is like Patrick Vieira if you have missed out on Patrick Vieira but it's still going to cost you coins and honestly boys we are going to focus next week on uh, talking about different stuff going on with the game at the moment and the connection and the overall stickiness of the game I don't usually feature these in what's coming Monday videos because I stick to kind of the content or whatever but I felt I had to make an exception this week lads I, I don't know what was going on man this week this has probably been one of my most difficult weeks gameplay is actually not too bad it's not gameplay issues it's stickiness heaviness laggy kind of like you know players not turning and then in the next game they're turning super quick Seems to be kind of like a netcode server issue, maybe overload, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if you guys been dealing with this. But yeah, I mean, just literally like my players turning like trucks, like can't clear the ball, won't pass the ball, taking extra touches, can't clear. Um, yeah, I've noticed it a lot this week and also hitting the post a lot this week as well. So it can be very frustrating when it feels like the game is playing you rather than you playing the game and fighting against connections. So let me know if it was just me. I mean, as, as, <coughs> as, excuse me, as far as I know, it wasn't my internet connection. I mean, we were streaming, we were doing everything, connection was perfect. I have, a, uh, you know, a test and, a, and being able to check my connection at all times. So uh, it wasn't that, but let me know what you guys think. I mean, t the last couple of days have been very difficult for me, uh, server-wide, server-wide issues. So let me know what you guys think. Am I, is it just me or are you struggling as well? Let me know in the comments below and uh, we will see you in the next stream. Peace.